Hey, how you doing, y'all? It's been a while. It's been almost three months. People contacted me, contacted my wife, Sandra. What's going on with Pop? What's going on with Terry? Is he okay? Yeah, I've been okay. I mean, they're concerned about, well, we haven't heard any videos. We haven't heard nothing. And to be honest with you guys, I haven't had anything to say. Anything I would say would more or less be, a, you know, just a rehash of some of the stuff I've said before. But, you know, <laughs> as luck would have it, as luck would have it, something f <clears throat> fell into my lap a couple of days ago that I, I just, this is, this is going to come out as a rant because you really think this stuff is over. But uh, I, I was made privy to a letter uh, a young lady received recently from her church. And it said, we have not seen you in fellowship for a long time. In other words, she's not going to church. Okay. Um, and we have been told, the letter reads, that you think that you can be a good Christian without coming to church. But that's not right because Jesus died for us to have this fellowship, for us to be able to have this fellowship. Well, to me, that was more or less they were concerned about because she's not there. She's not there to put any money in the basket when they pass it. So they're missing her money. And when I say refer to them or they, there's three gentlemen who signed off on this letter. And um, <clears throat> then they go on to say that it has come to our attention that you are living an unchristian life because uh, you live with some guy. And that, that's pretty much the bottom line. You're, you're living with some man. And uh, they threw a few Bible verses at her with that. And <clears throat> the whole point of the matter was, the first part is, we want your ass back in a pew. Um, a threat comes along with, we know you're living in sin. You're not living a, a, a proper Christian life. And then the bottom line comes. The bottom line. If you don't remedy this situation by such and such a date, we will be forced to disfellowship you, which means we're going to kick you out of the church. Now, they also went on to talk about themselves as shepherds, right? It's, it's our responsibility to guide people and take care of people and to make them be good Christians. And I'm kind of, yeah, okay. Because what is a what is a shepherd? All right, he's he's the guy that keeps the herd together. He's he's the guy that keeps the herd together, so they don't wander off and discover a greener pasture. All right, that's what a shepherd does. And in this case, these guys are calling themselves shepherds. Their job being to keep their people in line. Now, <clears throat> I did find out that uh, the young lady in point didn't give them the chance to disfellowship her. Uh, she pretty much gave them the Yankee salute, you know, whatever that thing is called. And she and her fellow are doing just fine. This kind of interference, I, I, I really thought was 
you know, on its way out or it was out. I mean, to my knowledge, even the Roman church, the Roman Catholic church doesn't get involved in that stuff anymore unless you go to a priest in confession. And for the most part, uh, I'm, I'm sure all that's going to happen um, is that, you know, you're going to wind up saying, you know, a couple of Hail Marys and a couple of Our Fathers. Because then you, after you do that, you get absolution or whatnot, and then you can go about your business. But anyway, um, I, I, like I said, I thought this shit was over. Obviously, it's far from over. And it's astonishing because here we are in this information age where somebody can, at the touch of a finger and in seconds, have all kinds of information put in front of them. Uh, how this stuff is still able to survive in, in, in these times is beyond me. I, I truly don't know how. But it is. Now, I, as a heathen, I'm really big on tribe. And let's keep the tribe small. Uh, we don't want to get in, have, you know, too many entanglements, entanglements and so forth. And this is just a prime example. Is it possible for heathens to go in that direction? Yeah, you bet. You know, um, just wait and see if you think I'm kidding. Because when you stay small and you stay local and regional, things kind of are nice and peaceful. But the bigger you get, the more you can fall into this kind of stuff. Because for the most part, it's all about control. And heathenry is not about that kind of thing. All right, guys. I spoke enough. You know, I, I, I've got a tight muscle here in my neck. And I got my head throbbing over here because I'm all stressed out. I can't deal with this kind of stuff too much at my age. <laughs> I, I just, it's, it's just hard to accept that this shit is still going on but it is okay guys like the video if you want by all means subscribe to my channel and i gotta tell you over and over again fish bait or taters